In this video, I'm going to explain how to construct and draw uh, three elevations of the truncated cone. And also I'm going to explain how to construct and draw the auxiliary view for cutting surface looking uh, perpendicular to the cutting plane. To illustrate this one, I'm going to use uh, this example. Cone has a base of a diameter of 80 millimeter and height of 100 millimeter. A 45 degree inclined cutting plane cuts the axis of the cone at a 60 millimeter height. Draw the uh, front elevation end elevation and the plan in a first angle projection. The second question, they draw the auxiliary view for the cutting uh, surface. Okay, let's see how to construct and draw these uh, views. First of all, uh, let me draw the uh, circle. This is the cylinder cone axis, vertical axis. So that uh, height of the cone is equal to uh, 100 millimeter. Okay, this is the cone. So then uh, I'm going to mark the cutting plane line. So cutting plane at an uh, angle 45 degree at a uh, height of uh, 60 millimeter from the bottom to this point. Okay, uh, this is the cutting plane line. Okay, uh, first of all, I'm going to divide this uh, circle into 12 equal segments. First of all, uh, mark these points. This, uh, Give uh, number 0 for this point, then uh, number 1, number 2, uh, number 3, number 4, number 5, number 6, number 7, number 8, number 9, number 10, number 11, number 12. Let's uh, draw the vertical line projection from this point, from this uh, point. To the, the vertical projection from uh, from this point, the vertical projection projected line from this point, point five. Either way. Okay. So then I'm going to draw the inclined line from the vertex of the cone to this uh, points. Okay, then uh, let's number this uh, point as well. Here, uh, point 0, uh, point 1 and 11, 1 and uh, 11. Here, point 2 and 10, they both are coinciding. 2 and 10, 3 and 9, 3 and 9. Here, uh, 4 and 8, uh, 5 and 7, 5 and 7. Here number 6. Okay, uh, this is the uh, 3D shape of the cone, the truncated cone, here you can see the cutting plane. If you take the front elevation like this, you can see, here the, you can see the numbers, numbering system, the 0 in here, the 9, 10, 11, you can see the 10 and the 2, number 2 is coinciding, here the number 9 and the number 3 is coinciding, you can see, like this. Okay, then when you are going to uh, draw the plan view, we have to obtain this curve. Here you can see, we will look at from the top. This curve we have to construct. Okay, let's see how to construct this uh, view. And also, when you are taken the end elevation, here, something like this, end elevation. Here, this is the front elevation. We will look at from this direction and draw it in here. This is the end elevation. For the end elevation, we have to obtain this curve. Using the geometric construction, we are going to obtain this curve. Okay, let's see how to 
open this uh, close okay uh, in here you can see when you are taken this line this line is uh, line 6 you can see there is the end point of the line 6 here this is the end point so if you can uh, project this point in a downward direction you can get the end point of the curve okay bottom end point of the curve so then again this is the end point of the line uh, 0 here you can see this is the point if you can project downward from this point then we can get the another end point of the curve let's uh, project from these points uh, one end point this is another end point okay then uh, next uh, i'm going to project from this point along the line 5 and 7 i'm going to mark this uh, point projection here line 5 and 7 i'm going to mark these uh, points like this from uh, 4 and 8 from this point i'm going to project uh, vertically vertically here along the line 4 and 8 i'm going to mark this point like this then uh, let's go to the 2 and 10 here these are the points 2 and 10 then let's move to the line uh, 1 and 11 the other point 1 and the 11 okay then what about the 3 and 9 to get the dimension for the 3 and 9 so I'm going to uh, draw the horizontal line from this point then uh, take uh, this dimension to the compass okay from the center by taking the center for this arc and draw the mark mark the points okay now we have marked all the points so now we are going to join this point to obtain the curve Okay, this is the curve when you are looking from the top this is how we are uh, seeing the cutting plane here you can see this is the shape okay then uh, let's draw the end elevation before uh, going to draw the end elevation i'm going to draw the uh, diagonal line so then you can project from this uh, plan to the end elevation Okay, then uh, let's uh, project these points the point 4 and 2 so I'm going to project from the plan elevation 5 and 1 7 and 11 8 and 10 okay let's project But then let's uh, draw the inclined line from the vertex this is the uh, front elevation we need uh, if you take the end elevation view looking from this direction we are having uh, this kind of view so then the number system you can see number six number 6 the 7 8 and 9 here a 5 a 4 and the 3 here 8 and uh, 10 in here uh, 7 and 11 in here uh, 6 and 0 in here 5 and 1 in here a 4 and 2 in here 
okay here we can see uh, the either view we are going to take then the 6 and the 0 and the 7 and the 11 like this okay then let's see how to construct this uh, curve okay so then this uh, first of all i'm going to project this curve bottom end that means this end from this uh, front elevation okay let's project the along the line 6 okay so then again uh, at the uh, top end of the curve here along the line 0 again same line okay then the from the line 5 5 and 7 so i'm going to project horizontally a 5 and the line 7 here from the 4 and 8 by projecting horizontally 4 and 8 here 4 and the 8 and uh, 3 and 9 3 and uh, 9 and uh, 2 and 10 2 and the 10 2 and uh, 10 here 1 and 11 1 and 11 1 and 11 okay these are the points okay let's uh, join these points Okay, this is the curve we are obtaining. Okay, this is the uh, end elevation we are obtaining. Okay, then uh, next uh, we are going to draw the auxiliary view for this uh, to represent this uh, cutting plane shape. So, uh, for that one, I am going to draw the uh, perpendicular line from this point. Then let's draw the horizontal line like this then uh, through uh, each and every point I am going to draw the uh, line from this point I am going to draw the perpendicular line through this point also I am going to draw the perpendicular line like this through this point also So this is the end point of the ellipse. So as the cutting surface we are getting the ellipse. This is the end point, upper end point of the ellipse. Here is the point. Okay. This is the bottom end point of the ellipse. The okay. two end points. So then behind the ellipse like this. Okay. Uh, let's mark the distances. Then let's uh, before uh, let's mark these uh, points, uh, these lines. Here the line uh, six. Uh, here uh, 5 and the 7, 5 and 7, here uh, 4 and 8, here uh, 3 and 9, here uh, 2 and 10, 1 and 11, 1 and the 11, this is uh, 0, okay, this line is 0, okay, so then, uh, then take the compass and take the measurements, uh, for example, uh, taking this point as center uh, for this arc, the along the line 3 okay along the line 3 here 309 so then take this uh, point as center then mark this uh, distances along uh, line 3 and line 9 okay uh, before we have to draw the uh, vertical lines uh, through these uh, points like this Okay. okay let's take line uh, 4 and uh, line 8 along this line
four and eight. Then along the line five and seven, we are going to mark. Take this dimension. Five and seven. Okay, then line six uh, point is this point. So then let's take the two and ten. Take this point. Two and ten. The one and eleven. Then uh, let's uh, obtain the curve, obtain the ellipse. Okay, uh, as the cutting surface, we are getting this kind of ellipse. Okay, uh, this is how we are constructing and drawing uh, truncated cone, uh, front elevation, the plan view, and the end elevation and the auxiliary view, as the auxiliary view, the cutting plane, uh, cutting plane surface. Okay, uh, thank you. See you next time.